Okay, hi all. Um, this is James here, and I'm gonna real quick do an inventory of a Bomare F18 HT. Um, I may be selling it. My Ferry F25C is about ready with new 85 SR floats. So, anyways, um, the Bomare F18 HT Javelin um, was brought over for the Little America's Cups. Little America's Cup. <laughs> I think this is, I'll have to check the year, 2002 or 2004, I think it's 2002. So anyway, it's going stem to stern, here we go. Um, carbon bowsprit, um, you do see the Velocitec um, speed puck there. Brand new spinnaker bag, it is the original spinnaker though. You do see Murray's big bag writing system for solo writing, so that's right there. Anything more of note? No, nope, boat's in great shape. Um, so anyways, the main, um, I have two mains. One is the original. This, I don't know if you can see it, um, I had made. This is a 15 square meter main. So I use this for soloing. Um, both the dagger boards and the rudders have been sealed. Um, they were hollow to save weight, but they take on water, so they were sealed. Um, so these, these are all the mods done as recommended to the boat too. You see the aft beam has been raised, so there's a carbon fiber there. Um, you've probably seen me scan over a few things. The wings, and these are non-stand, very, very unique for this boat, allows you to solo it um, and just, just turns it into a rocket. The boat is a machine. But uh, the wings themselves were made from a Melgy's mask, so they're carbon with um, aluminum inserts. Uh, very light. I never weighed them, but, but super light. The boat doesn't even feel it. Um, and then I did you see the tramps too, and then I do have um, just just foot, foot straps there. So let's see. Um, the hulls are unique. I wonder if I can get this. Uh, the hulls on the F18HT are almost teardrop. Um, so hopefully I can do this without putting the um, iPad into the water. So you see the buoyancy is down low, which is incredible. The thing just skims on the water. Um, sits real high, a lot of freeboard. I, you know, I questioned when I bought the boat whether the wings would ever go into the water, and, and they haven't. Um, I guess, you know, if you're hot dogging and going way upright, you know, they, they will. So let's see, moving on. Um, on the, going back to the spinnaker, I do use both a tack line and a halyard. Um, for solo, it just works better for me. Um, I have the setup for the single line, and it goes through the, 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 the tramp, of course. Um, but sailing solo, it's just easier to pull, upon raising the sail, to pull the tack out, and then raise the sail, keeps it out of the water, and then reverse it uh, as it goes back in the bag. Of course, you know, release the halyard, pull it back. And of course, the it's a standard um, snuffer system for any cat. Um, the downhaul the down is a 16 to 1 internal. Incredible. You can just tweak the sail. You can just bend it. And it is a 34 foot or 10 meter carbon mast. Um, and the thing is, a, it's a thing of beauty. Um, I did create, a la the farrier system, a gin pole so I can raise the mast myself. Um, I did make extra straps. You can see the, the hiking straps, the foot straps there. Um, so when you're sitting on the wings, of course, you can hike out. Um, oh, I didn't mention there was a Cheetah outboard motor bracket and a Florida outboards 2.5 horsepower. Moves about around, oh, like three and a half knots. And on Lake George, the wind will just absolutely die. So, you know, um, of course the tiller itself um, extends to what, you know, 12 feet or so. Um, all the controls, of course, you can control the amount of mass rotation. Um, let's see, what have I missed? Oh, the writing bag, real nice system. And then of course I have another yellow bag that has my, my whistle, my um, horn. But in the writing bag, of course, my water and everything else. And it's actually my sailing bag, so I just pack all my stuff into it at the end of the day and you know, toss it on the boat and go. Um, let's see, what else? So I did, you hear music. Um, I did sew over there, you see the little blue stripe, a uh, mesh bag so that I could put a, a waterproof Bluetooth receiver in there, or what, speaker. Um, well, you see a little can. I, I fashioned uh, little beverage holders, of course, on the shrouds. Double trapezes. Um, I probably have about four harnesses, I think. One is a full Magic Marine, beautiful, and the other is a Murray's, um, the ones I really use, the Murray's Skippers um, Ultimate, you know, really nice harness as well. 
So I think that is it. Oh, there is a writing pole. Um, so in addition to the writing bag, and I actually did make a Hobie Gary's writing pole too. I had an extra windsurfing mask, so I fashioned that and I made the cross piece in carbon and padded it, so that's a real nice system too. And you can actually hook that to the bottom of the boat too. Um, so you don't have to do what, you know, the Hobie Gary and all those other guys do, strapping it across the cross beam. Um, so I think that's it. All lines have been spliced. If you look at the, um, I don't know if you can see it, but the um, spinnaker halyard um, has been stripped to the core, as has, in, in every pace place possible, the uh, main sheet and also um, it's a continuous line for the spinnaker sheets themselves. Phew, I think I did it. Okay, so anyways, um, James here. Call me if you have questions or write me. Um, and that's it. I'll give you give you one last big look or tall look at the boat. Um, so and I'm, hopefully I won't disorient you as I flip the screen around. So it is a beautiful sail. Um, screamer. Boats and machine. Anyways, that's all. See ya.